Now let us see how joint venture will function. X and Y are bringing in a sum of rupees 1 lakh as initial contribution. Now, how do we record this transaction? The amount being brought in is an asset. The golden rule for asset or real account is debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Hence, we debit cash account. No, we cannot debit cash. We have opened only joint bank account. So, we debit joint bank account. The amount has been brought in by X and Y. Both are persons. The golden rule for the personal account is debit the receiver, credit the giver. So, the journal entry is joint bank account debit 2 lakhs to X account that is co-venturer account 1 lakh to Y account co-venturer account 1 lakh again. Now XYJV is purchasing flowers for marriage ceremony for rupees 1000. The amount being paid is going out. It is an asset. The golden rule for asset or real account is debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Hence, we credit joint bank account. The amount that is spent is an expense of XYJB. All expenses are debited. It is an expense of joint venture as it is spent for the purpose of marriage ceremony contract taken by XYJB. Hence the journal entry would be joint venture account debit 1000 to joint bank account 1000. Now in the current marriage assignment, there was an emergency requirement of some items like glue, tape, etc., etc., costing rupees 1000, which Y had already with him in his regular business, and he brought in these items from his individual business into this venture. Now, how do we record this transaction? The glue, tape, etc being bought in by Y are consumable items and are an expense for the joint venture. The golden rule for nominal account is debit all expenses and losses, credit all income and gains. Hence, we debit joint venture account. Now again, these items have been bought in by Y. Y is a co-venturer. Hence, the golden rule for personal account is debit the receiver, credit the giver. Hence, we credit Y's account, co-venturer's account. So the journal entry here is joint venture account debit, that is with 1000 rupees, to Y account, co-venture account, 1000 rupees. In case of a small decoration work for this contract, Y also paid rupees 500 as wages to a labourer from his own pocket. Now, how do we record this transaction? The wages being paid by Y is for the work of the joint venture. Therefore, it is an expense to joint venture. The golden rule for nominal account is debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. Hence, we debit joint venture account. Now again, amount is being paid by Y. Y is a co-venturer. Here, the joint venture now owes money to Y. Hence, the golden rule for personal account is debit the receiver, credit the giver. Hence, we credit Y's account, that is co-venturer's account. So, the journal entry is joint venture account debit 500 to Y account, co-venturer account 500. The XYJV is supplying the garland to be used for the marriage ceremony to the family members of the bride and at the same time they are taking an amount of rupees 25,000 in cash from family members for the expenses incurred till date. How do we account for this transaction? This is a sale transaction by the venture. The amount being brought in is an asset. The golden rule for asset or real account is 
debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Hence, we debit cash account, no? Again, we need to remember that we cannot debit cash. We have opened only joint bank account. So, we debit joint bank account. The amount has been brought in is on account of sales. Sales is an income for the venture. Hence, it is a nominal account. The golden rule for nominal account is debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. How will sales be entered? We have an open sales account in the joint venture. The sales account is generally transferred to the profit and loss account. In case of joint venture, joint venture account acts as profit and loss account. Hence, we credit the amount to joint venture account. All incomes are credited to joint venture account. So the journal entry is joint bank account debit rupees 25,000 to joint venture account 25,000. Now let's say that in next payment of rupees 50,000, the customer gave an account paycheck in the name of X. In the above case, the amount belongs to the joint venture, but cannot be credited to joint bank account as the check is in the name of X. Now, in this situation, the amount can be only taken by Mr. X. Now, how do we record this transaction? The amount being brought in is received by X on behalf of the venture. X being a co-venturer is a personal account. The golden rule for personal account is debit the receiver, credit the giver. Hence, we debit X account. The amount is received on account of payment in respect of contract is sale for the venture. Hence, it is a nominal account. The golden rule for nominal account is debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. Similar to the previous journal entry, as we have an open sales account in the joint venture, the sales account is generally transferred to the profit and loss account. In case of joint venture, joint venture account acts as profit and loss account. Hence, we credit the amount to joint venture account. So, the journal entry is X account, co-venturer account 50,000 to joint venture account 50,000.